are beautiful and welcome back to my channel and welcome to this video where I have me <laughs> me <laughs> doing here <laughs> we are in New York City at the moment and we thought we'd film a video together we are gonna film judging each other's travel makeup bags um <laughs> So yeah, I'm ready. Stay tuned. Let's go into it. And also don't forget to subscribe because why wouldn't you want to be subscribed? I'm a train wreck, but it's lovely. <laughs> We did do a live on Samantha's channel, yes. so yes. I will link that as well down below. Of course, ready. yes, with this makeup look right here. Mm -hmm. Although I do think that this, mm -hmm. like, is probably better quality because you were doing it on your phone, so oh, you yeah. probably can see like the actual yeah. makeup look. So if you watch Samantha's live and you're coming back and you're like, wow, I feel like I can actually see the colors. It's really hard with light. I'm wearing brown, so yeah. I mean, no matter what thing you do your live on unless you're doing it with actual like professional camera plug yeah. it right in you're never gonna get the same like no because it doesn't even i don't even know if it goes to seven i think it maybe goes to 720. yeah mm. it definitely doesn't go to 1080. Mm. and uh, this camera is actually <coughs> really good and that's why i bought it this camera is really good at showing the way that you actually see it the way mm. you see it okay let me agree you can okay why why is this someone's coffin <laughs> It's the Ally Glynn's makeup bag. And normally when I travel, I bring so either crazy. the small, like the like mm. her really small one, mm. um, or I'll bring the medium because then I can do my brushes in it too. But both, I was packing last minute, as always. My makeup was the very last thing that I packed. And both of my other bags had stuff in it. And I just didn't feel like taking everything out and causing a mess. Mm. So this one was empty and I was like, well... We're just gonna try fill it up. Like yeah. I put like all kinds of random stuff in there that I took out for this video. Because like this, this, this is like, like yeah. It's the Alley Glance, like the big bag. It fits everything, literally. And there's not that much in here. There's me see if I can show you because like there's a lot of space in here. Mm -hmm. Now you get a little peeky peek at what she has. Yeah. Oh, and and I have the Uda's Eye, uh, the makeup bag that they have with this collection. Was that the Freya collection that they had last <laughs> year? It's really it's good. A nice bag. Yeah, it's a really nice bag. I actually use that quite a lot. It has like a space for brushes, like that. Yeah, where nice. I fill it up with colored eye pencils and, and, and lip liners because. Yeah, no, that's nice. Though. Why wouldn't you? Nice I did get a little peek into this now that we were doing our makeup, and yeah. I realized. Let's start with this. You brought the Hydromaniac from Urban Decay. Yes. You should try it. It's definitely one of my favorites. How would you describe it? Because it says glow and it says tinted, and I'm like, is this gonna just slip and slide all over my face? Because I can't have that. Is that crumble? Did you get? I, I was eating chips earlier. That was a part of the potato chips. Yeah, so definitely. I, I was eating. Shop. I have chips and Skittles next to me, and two bottles of water. And two bottles of water. Um, no, for the Urban Decay. So that one I think has nice like light medium coverage, mm -hmm. and it's like glowy but without being too too much yeah like sometimes it's like whoop, yeah because like the milani skin tint reminds me of this one but that one is glowy so that mm. one i'm like if you are oily like you're not gonna like the milani mm. go with the urban decay because it's more on that natural side but to mm. me it's like very second skin and it's lightweight and it just gives you it's like all of a sudden you just have more like radiant skin without being like too much How too powdery would you compare this to the charlotte's beautiful skin foundation Oh, I didn't like that one at all. I didn't? Because I like that one. I feel like that one did what you just described. Her, the beautiful skin like came in a glass tube. Oh no, I'm sorry. I'm thinking of a different one. Her new one. Yeah, the one that I Yes. Seen. Okay, yes. Sorry, I was thinking of her. I feel like all of her names are really similar. Yeah. I was thinking of the one in the glass bottle that's like super, super full coverage. Oh, that, that one That is, one? Mm. So the Charlotte Tilbury, I think is still, that one's really glowy. Mm. Like when I wear that and I have dry skin, mm. I need to powder. Like oh, okay. this, mm. I don't feel again because i'm dry like i don't feel like i have to powder with that one and okay. like so this it's a little one, less than that yeah, yeah i wore that to the day club okay. the other day for like eight hours in the oh. sun and my makeup was is that Did a butt oh pretty. it's a heart could be we could say whatever we want it could be whatever it wants did you bring any other foundations um just the ilia oh yeah this today. one the new one is this a foundation c it's beyond a, triple serum like a tinted spf situation oh, okay. But I think I put it on today. I feel like it looks. It looks like you have a, like a little coverage. Nice, yeah. On. Yeah, it just kind of evens. Yeah. Evens the skin out, I would say. But I just bought that one. I do like shop with me vlogs on my mm. channel because I live in Las Vegas, so it's like kind of fun to get out mm. there. And so the last one that I went to, I don't know what happened. I walked into Sephora. I walked out spending two hundred and fifty dollars on five products. I was like, how does this happen? <laughs> Where did 
did I go wrong? But have you worn this, this trick yet? No, I've just been doing the Ilya. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because I only brought one foundation because I was like, I'm not the person that's Well, there. I grabbed the Ilya, but I was like still not sure if I was going to like it. So I grabbed my Urban Decay as like, if this is not going well, I at least know that I have something that's... Because I brought, because I, I just bought so much new makeup, so mm -hmm. I brought all that with me so I could keep testing it. Mm -hmm. But then I also brought products that I know work in case it was not working out for me. Like, oh. so I have both new and old in here just to be... Oh, and you brought the Anastasia concealer too. Mm -hmm. And the Lancome. So you only brought the full coverage ones? Mm -hmm. Do you only do full coverage concealers? I like a more full coverage concealer because I often do something lighter coverage with my foundation oh, so then i, I use a concealer to spot conceal. oh that's true because i never do that mm -hmm. but i was like because i usually don't like the full coverage concealer under my eyes mm -hmm. if i'm doing light coverage because i feel like it's so obvious then that mm. i have concealer but i don't spot conceal so that could also yeah because i have like acne scars and stuff so like i like a like i like light coverage foundations but then i need something to cover like the scars on my cheeks mm. oh okay so okay this is fun <laughs> okay oh yes your maybelline mm. we bought the maybelline concealer okay like love this one so i haven't tried this one the super stay i love how it looks i love how it wears it doesn't crease it's super light i know that nikki tutorials oh. is doing like a some kind of a ad right now on youtube she's like full super full cover i'm like i don't know if i think that oh, i mean they okay. are marketing it as a full coverage i think it's a very lightweight medium coverage skin like finish and i think okay. it works really good with like skin tints and stuff since i only brought one of those the only bad thing about this is that it does have some alcohol in it mm. it doesn't necessarily have to be a bad thing i know that we're like oh my god it's the worst thing ever depends on the alcohol and depends on how like but the thing is that when you put the alcohol here yeah you, you can you can feel, feel it. it yeah yeah and it's still not enough for to deter me from using it because i really like it okay it's I, I, I trust this concealer so it got to come i haven't tried maybelline like other products in so long uh, me neither i used to, they used to be my jam like i always say when i first started my channel you would have thought i was sponsored by maybelline because it was so much maybelline I all the time a lot of maybelline oh yeah mm. i used to their mascaras were always my favorite like oh, through college and everything mm. milani has kind of knocked them off for me like with their mascaras i can't remember the last thing i tried from milani uh, yeah. I like Milani. Um, okay, so then you also brought the Charlotte Tilbury Light Wonder. Mm. This used to be my jam. I really like it. I've gone through almost a whole bottle of um, this. This is the second time I'm bringing that traveling. Nice. This is a really nice one because mm. it's it's light coverage, mm. but it gives you that nice, like, to me, it gives, like, a nice radiance as well. Yeah, but it's definitely not dewy. I wouldn't yeah. describe it as dewy because it's what I have on my face today. And, yeah. like, the glow you see, it's definitely a highlighter. So it's not matte, but I wouldn't right. consider it to be dewy. Yeah, I, I don't know. Like this is nice. I liked the I liked the light wonder and I liked her primer that was in a Oh yeah yeah. I haven't used that for so I use that a ton. Like I used to I use the primer know. and then just a concealer and I lived my best life. Oh you brought the Dior powder, I'm so shocked. Weird. I you know, it just like got into my bag. There's something you're trying out. <laughs> because I have two N for my under eyes. Because it's lighter, and then I use three N all over my face. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. Yep. So. Well, I actually did bring two powders. Yeah. Well, actually, well, one's three just, powders. Well, and I also have the makeup by Mario, but that again, that was a new one. I yeah, didn't yeah, know. Yeah, yeah. I had to also but, bring. I mean, the makeup by Mario. Where did I put here? I this. I mean, this isn't an and setting powder. Like this is not what you set your makeup with. This is like a finishing powder. So this under your eyes is like. Oh yeah. No. I. That's that. I cannot that's, do that under my eyes. Sure. No. This is very shimmery. I did buy it myself, so it's gonna be interesting to see how it goes. Yeah, I'm gonna be curious what you think because I was having a discussion with Risa the other day about the products too, and we were just both kind of like, well, I don't know. <laughs> oh, like, oh, it's, I'm interested. I am, I am so so interested. I actually, I brought more powders than I brought concealers and foundations together because I have three powders in there. Okay, so you brought two from Nikia Joy. Yes. Okay, so we have two from Nikia Joy. So the press, I've never, I don't know if I've seen the press. Okay, she had a really nice bundle where you could buy the pressed and the loose together. And I was oh. like, oh. Since, because I did the order to buy the powders, I was like, okay, I'll do that. Do you like one more than the other? Um, I think for me, I think I prefer the loose one because I feel like the pressed one needs to be pressed a little harder. Oh, okay. I like the the mm. loose powder mm. from Nikia. I haven't tried. I didn't yeah, I feel like it's been really good. And also since I have noticed that my skin is getting a little bit more oily when I'll be surprised that I brought this one. Yeah, the NYX with the pan in it. 
for my under eyes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. I love it so much. I've heard really good things about this one. I've never tried it myself though. It's so good. No, because this was like popular even years ago, right? Yeah. Like it yeah. had like its moment. Mm -hmm. And I, I just never gave up one. on it. <laughs> yeah, I love that. Why you ride or die? <laughs> I love that. That's oh, my favorite. Ooh, the oh, I think we have the same browser. <gasps> really? No, mine's up. No, it is. Wait. No, you're so oh, okay. I was like, wait, I think mine's a highlight, and then this had bronzer, and I was like, oh, what? I'm so oh, confused. Yeah, I brought the. You brought the golden hour highlight, and I brought the bronzer. Yeah. And I have it in medium, and that, that's the only bronzer I brought. So your bronzer is then. So I did the, the makeup, makeup by Mario, Mario, but I also packed my NARS duo, which has bronzer oh, and so blush. So this is a again just to be on the safe I side. I don't think I own a single NARS product. It's so funny because I feel like I give NARS a lot of crap for coming out with the same products but then i really like that duo i don't have a lot of bronzer blush duos okay so this is the summer unrated blush bronzer duo in laguna and orgasm shocker like all they come out with shook it to the core but i'm like i'm like i get it really does Can make you sense imagine them being at like the the board meeting they're like do you know what we're gonna do for the summer orgasm both of them same duo we're gonna make our customers orgasm on the laguna beach groundbreaking <laughs> But it's funny because it's something that I say a lot is like I try to remember because I've been doing this for so long But mm -hmm. I'm like there's such a huge Portion of customers that mm -hmm. want their favorite products and they mm -hmm. go back and they use the same things mm -hmm. and they use them up and it's like No, nah, it makes sense. Mm -hmm. Like I get it. It's just like that reminder again that like the the Internet of the beauty community mm -hmm. does not rule all <laughs> Like, no, there's a no. lot of other people that, that are buying makeup that, that don't watch you, beauty YouTube. But at the same time, all I oh, can, yeah, I that all that, <laughs> three bronzers? I brought three bronzers. Tell me you're shocked. Tell, if you know me, if you follow my channel, tell me you're shocked that I have brought three bronzers. I think it's more shocking than I bought three powders. <laughs> yeah, right. But I feel like sometimes people forget that when I give my opinions, it's my opinions. And yeah. It's based on how I feel mm -hmm. and what I'm seeing. And I, I cannot speak to someone else. How do you open mm -hmm. this? I know, they're really hard to open. But what? I feel afraid with your nail. Send help. She broke her nail and it's like traumatizing me. Is, is that not the worst packaging ever? It was, even when I'm first trying it in my video, I'm like, why is this hard to open? I have to like cut the camera. I really do want to. Is, this is the new bronzer. So that's the new bronzer. Can I say I want to try it less now that I see that it's in this package? No, it makes sense. I don't like that part because even they have highlights like in that yeah. packaging, I don't. I don't like it, I just wish it was like small. The bronzer it looks pretty. Is this the third shade or the second? I am not sure. I wanna say, cause I'm sh fairly sure that I looked at this and I was looking at the third shade. Uh, but I don't think it was called this. So this could be the second one, but this seems, but it seems a little almost peachy. Mm -hmm. I wasn't sure it was gonna work well on me, but. Packaging. Why are they like, doing these packaging? I don't know. I don't like it either. I can't open it. Okay, so you brought... Is this your only bronzer? Yeah. Okay, so Andrew brought one bronzer. <laughs> one bronzer. I will say, the Sigma bronzers are really nice. I do use yeah. the medium bronzer yeah. as well. Like, these it's are really nice. These are really it's nice products, and I like the highlights. I mean, obviously. I brought two blushes. I feel like I oh, was okay. as holding back. I You have your here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, I feel like I'm trying to sneak candy out of one of those vending machines. <laughs> I'm like trying to steal it. Oh my god. Okay, I actually, this is, yeah, this is the one from mm -hmm. Odin's Eye. I like this one so much as it well. Have, so pretty. Rosate Love? Rosette Love? I don't think that's Swedish. Rosate Love? Rosate Love? I don't know. I just assumed I was pronouncing it incorrectly. But it's super pretty. Yeah. And, and the, like this, I packed this one first. And this is the. Oh yeah, I'm not sure to see an orange blush make it through. This is so the weird. new glowy. Like is that even a thing? This is the new glowy orange blush. You that from Little Cosmetics, and I hadn't tried it, so I was like, I need to bring that one. And then I'm like, but what if I don't want to have one? Like, mm -hmm. so I'm actually wearing this one today. That one's super fun. super pretty. Yeah. yeah. So I think I'm gonna pull a little bit we of. We should that try one. an orange blush. Yeah, I like orange. Like I like wearing orange eyeshadows. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I love that color. Orange blush with is so like green pretty. eyes. I just think it's and like. Little cosmetics has a lot of orange and yeah. blue blushes. And you brought the Dior one yeah. that you finally got a hold of. Because these are always out of stock. Why is this so small? Why do I feel like I have dull makeup? I know, right? It's so tiny, and then it's so bright. Like I'm wearing oh, so it, and I don't think it's as. No. Like when I look at that, I'm like, like, that's intimidating. It depends. A, a blush can be worn 
by so many different skin colors depending on how sheer it is mm -hmm. and if it has like a, a a base that's gonna look ashy or like look gray toned but if it's sheer then yeah it's gonna just adapt to your skin tone yeah i guess that's what's people like people love it i never wear pink blush i say yes i'm wearing a pink blush today but like not a I like can yeah. Like I guess so many people love bright pink. I'm more of like very neutral or like terracotta blushes. Oh. Um, but bright pink has been like I know like Kelly mm -hmm. Gucci we're meeting up with mm -hmm. later. Like I know she loves like her bright pink cheeks and so. Yeah, she's been really into that. Yeah. Oh yeah, you talked about this yeah. when I was in Vegas. Yep. So uh, the blush highlighter and the iconic London, the rose glow. So you brought three pink blushes. Yes. Yes. This is correct. And all I've worn so far is the Dior. That's the only one. Again, it's just like I was afraid. This is iconic. Like, what point. if these new products don't work out for me? You know, I gotta bring my. Oh, well, that is true. Did I, I bring my staples? I mean, I brought. I brought like first. I only brought one highlighter. Oh, that is a quad. Oh, that's your quad. Mm -hmm. Okay. So this is the highlighter. Yeah. First, I only packed this one because I used that in my half magic beauty makeup video. Yeah. And it's so pretty. I get so. Pretty. It's what I have on my cheeks today, but then I was like, I can't just bring one highlighter. What if I want to have something else? So I decided mm -hmm. to bring one more. Do you? Did you have any? Is any of these highlighters? Or did you just bring one? Um, that's highlighters like... are. I did the Golden Hour from Sigma. Oh yeah, you had this and then one. There's the single. one in the Iconic London. That's true. Yeah. So I only tried one of these so two. far, but I decided to go with the. I love it. Which one? Oh, there it is, the Winnie the Pooh. Yeah. It's the best! These from the Winnie the Pooh collection are so nice. Yeah. I really like those. But my pen is almost loose. Oh, I it is. I don't know why, I noticed. Like, like, oh. I, I get, like, oh, yesterday it almost fell. Oh, no. okay. So I, I need to glue it back Which in. Which one do you have? Oh, this anchor one? This is the one? Um, middle one. Yeah. It is, I, I mean, I you know I do my ranking on my, like, my channel every month, and I put these Winnie the Pooh highlighters from Colourpop is number one. Mm. Mm -hmm. Because like the undertone that they were able to do with this to do something that's not a weird yellow highlighter but also not a gold. Mm -hmm. It's like something in between. I really feel like they did something and I think it's yeah. all that discontinued so. These are really nice. When if I you see the collection, those coming back in stock, definitely go yeah. grab it. Okay, is it like, oh, mascara? You brought more than one mascara. You brought... I love mascara. So the Maybelline Sky High, I, I just always one. use that on my lower lashes because mm. the wand is so thin and it's just like so mm. easy and it doesn't move. Um, but then I brought my Rare Beauty and my Milani, like my two favorite mascaras. Why do you like? Because I thought the Rare Beauty was okay, but mm -hmm. I like a lengthening mascara. So for me, I love this one on the yeah. top lashes. Yeah, that's really nice. So how would you name. describe the Milani one? The Milani's? <laughs> I think it's definitely very lengthening as well. Um, Plumps in like a little bit. I think the Rare Beauty is better at like the volumizing mm -hmm. and the Milani is better at the lengthening. So sometimes I'll mix those two together okay. as well. Because I like lashes. elongating mascara. Yeah. Um, if I want like a volume or like intense mascara, I'll do the Wee Makeup Mascara. Because okay. it is deadly black. Yeah. It is so black and so intense. And to me, like those do not move on me. And because oh. like we watched so much yesterday, like mm. my mascara was. I fine. never have a problem with mascara smudging. Oh, I do. Like. Um, the bad gal bang, I don't think is too bad on me, but there's some other benefit ones. Yeah, this is, I mean, I think really benefit does good mascaras, mm -hmm. but this is by far my favorite. And yeah. it's been my favorite since it came out. Bad gal bang is good. Uh, this is, this is like this one and the sky high, the, those are the two mascaras that I can wear and I can be like, okay, so no false lashes. Mm -hmm. and I can be okay with it. Mm -hmm. I can be okay with it, but like, those are the two I would choose if I know I'm not wearing falsies. And which you, I'm not right now. And, but you brought some though. I did bring, some bring falsies. We, you, both, we both brought, brought the bright lashes. Mm -hmm. These are yours. These are half lashes in Vivid. Vivid. I think I, I brought... Yeah. Did you bring Flutter? No, I think I brought... Which ones did I bring? Oh, wait, they are here. I think it's Flare. Flare, yeah. yeah. Those yeah, are the ones. So this is Angela Bright's brand. These are really nice yeah, lashes. I, I like how she lashes. does the half lashes. Yeah, they're really nice. And so I feel easy. like these, because I wear a lot of the Vive half lashes, which are great, but they're more dramatic, the ones that I mm. use at least. I have like smoky and intense and the dramatic half lashes. These are more like effortless, like not so, I don't, don't want to say crazy, but mm -hmm. like, so crazy. Yeah. Where's the Kasha one? I thought you brought that one. Oh, I did bring the Kasha one. Oh, I might have put it in that bag. It might be in the bag behind me. Let me go get it. Because I worry about things breaking. This is brown. 
what I'm wearing today. Okay, I'm back and I brought the Kasha. Because I know that you wore this one yesterday. Yeah. It's the new uh, two year from Kasha. They came up with two new ones, right? Yeah. This one is Peach Madeline. And I just, I love the Kasha stacks. They're so small, especially oh, for travel. Shorts. They're so easy to use. And I wore the other one, the Mauve Bouquet, in my. Don't mind me struggling. In my last trying new makeup video on oh. YouTube, and I then also wore that look in my last new makeup mm -hmm. releases, and so many people, like Risa was texting me, like, what makeup are you wearing yeah. in that photo that you posted because it's so beautiful. Like, I got so many compliments like on it. that's a really nice, peachy, everyday mm -hmm. uh, trio. Not for me, but for you out there, like, love that. Yeah, it's but, I mean, so easy to use. It's the same with this, like, brown one. Yeah. This is the new one from... Those of colors, and this is in Magic Hour. Golden Hour. Golden Hour. Yep. Cool stuff. And I just did the two, like, I just did one matte brown and then a shimmer, and that's all today. Because we yeah. have, like, a nicer dinner plan for tonight, so we're both gonna, like, amp up our makeup tonight, but just for, like, walking around and yeah. stuff, or, like, just do something. Simple. But I mean, I can appreciate a small neutral palette like this mm -hmm. that looks like this because, like, it's it's nice. Yeah. And I do a lot of, like, brown smoky eyes. Like, I'm someone that's, like, two to three eyeshadows. I don't like blending. I'm very like, I'm always doing something. Like usually while I'm doing my makeup, I'm also reading a book at the same time. Like, really? Oh yeah. Reading and do or don't, it, if don't I'm mind not me. filming. If I'm not filming. Oh. Okay. Then I'm also like reading or something. So I just like. I want like gaming fast. videos. I just like fast. If so you brought this palette. I've never heard of this palette. If I don't know what this, this is. And not listen. Familiar. Obviously, I love my palette, and when I'm filming on YouTube, this is the Hello palette that I did with Unasai. Obviously, when I'm filming for YouTube, I, there's always new stuff that I want to be mm -hmm. trying and reviewing, but like, I truly just really want to wear my palette. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So that's what I brought. At first, I wasn't going to bring anything else. Because I was thinking like, when I was thinking like, oh, what do I want to pack New York? At first I was like, I think I'm just going to bring this. Mm -hmm. But then Lidl Cosmetics sent me a quad that was like an empty quad so that I could do my own quad. So I just put in four shades from Lidl Cosmetics. You know what? I'll put which shades these are in the description box. I'll try and link as much as possible. Mm -hmm. um, if you're interested in things that we've been talking about. And I was like, so my palette doesn't have a bright yellow or a red. So I was like, that could be nice to complement a bit. And then I brought two of the new multi-chromes from mm -hmm. Lidl. I like that they make quads. Yeah. So now yeah, you can make your same. own Lidl quads. Yeah. I really like that. I think it's so fun. I was very close to bringing a black. I was like, oh, I have soot. I'm, I'm good. I'm yeah. Good. I'm actually a little bit surprised that you brought this. One. Yeah. <laughs> that's one of like one of my newer ones, and I'm still like playing with it yeah. and playing with all the different shadows. But I love this palette so Me much. Me too. It's so nice. Yeah, and it's so like the different colors that I've mm -hmm. done. I went out to eat with um, for Reese's birthday. Mm -hmm like two weeks ago and Lori Hill was with us who's another YouTuber and she was like I have to know what's on your eyes and mm. it was the purple like sparkly shades from here and oh, she was like I'm buying that palette such buying it. shimmer shadows oh my yeah. god so this is the new Solmona Solmona look at her look at her <laughs> This is the new one from Uden's Eye, and I have actually been wearing these two together a bit, and I think they're really fun together because I feel like this one has blues, and I love blues and greens together. Mm -hmm. So it's been really fun. But this is a really fun palette. I, I feel love, like the purples, the oranges. I are feel really like pretty. I don't see a lot of dip into the blue series. So um, is that what those are my expect? most worn? Yeah, of course, of course. I'm just thinking. And also, this really good like. Mm, but look at the purple. Yeah. Yeah. Whee! <laughs> I don't know when this one stopped the filming, but here we are. I'm thriving on my vlog camera. You brought this setting spray, and I was close to bringing this one because I mm -hmm. really, really do like it. But mm -hmm. I actually brought that one because it's smaller. Yeah, makes sense. It's and it really like. <laughs> yeah, the, the it, it works. I, I yeah. really like the Charlotte Tilbury one. I think yeah. that this one is a really good one too. The one from Benefit the Poor. Yeah, I like Fashion the But there is a lot of lip what things they here. Did you bring? That one I found in my purse, so oh. I don't know if I like actively. It's called Thanks. It's Mac with an exclamation point. <laughs> I'm loving the exclamation points lately. But that's like a you color. That is definitely a me color. Mm -hmm. And it's that uh, new uh, luster glass formula that they okay. came up with. So it's like a, um, a semi opaque, very okay. sh shiny okay. situation. That's I'm just because I brought a Mac too. <laughs> I'm just picking up the lippy set. And then we made our own lipsticks oh. at the Bite Beauty Lab. So this is Angie's that she made. It's called Orange. Exclamation <laughs> point. <laughs> and so we went with the sheer lip what? formula as well. I love having options for lips. Wait, don't forget this one. It's another lip liner. And I have a lip liner in my bag. Oh my god. 
Yeah, but I, I didn't bring that many. Although I do have like in my bag, I do bring like the brow products, the mm -hmm. freckle pen, and I did bring this one. The orange lip liner that I wore the first oh. day from About Face. Oh yeah, yeah. But I, I do like the About Face lip liners, Ooh. but I, oh yeah, that's word that I used that one. Ooh. But I've realized that they're not amazing for wearing all over the lips. Some uh, some are really yeah, good yeah. for wearing on all over the lips, but those weren't like perfect for that. Okay. But yeah, brow lip liner. Oh yeah, this the um, it's like a marker for your lips. Oh, oh, interesting. So I do that when I want to do the reverse ombre lip. Oh, okay. So I use that one. And Lots then there's like brows. lip liner. Oh. And Prance. Oh, I love that. <laughs> oh, Prance. Prance is my baby. This is a oh, the, the brow, brow pen. pen. Uh, the one that I used on you. And the Give brow pen. And the one that I'm wearing today. I really like How the... many brow pencils did you bring? Two. Two? Okay. No, I brought two. A, a girl has a, a, I brought two. A, 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 like a, a thing. I brought two. Oh, oh glue. glue. I thought I saw one of your glue as well. Um, is, is this the one that you're using? Yeah. Strip flash adhesive. Oh, okay. Do you like it? Yeah, it hasn't irritated my oh, that's nice. eyes yet. I really so like that one that doesn't irritate my eyes. The green one from Duo. Yeah. Oh, so you brought some different liners. A yeah. white. Yeah. Camo. And the okay. blue and the yellow. See, I, I, I didn't bring a lot of liners. Yeah. I love, but I love liners in the waterline. Yeah. I'm gonna use one. Oh, this is the What's actually, this is the Too Faced lip liner, the new one. Oh, I really like this color because it's like a pinky nude that I actually like, and it's so light. Oh, if you have oh, to clip do you it. have to? Oh, I was like, can I not put it down? No, you can't. Because that drives me crazy. Yeah, but it's uh, because it's soft. And it doesn't click up too much. Okay. Like, so you, I mean, oh. not, it's actually really nice. Uh, I'm not like the biggest Too Faced oh, fan. Oh, yeah, pretty. It's nice. And I like that one with the lip oil because yeah. it is, yeah, just. Yeah, I know. I try to like. Yeah, you're not, you're not, you're not uh. you, you don't worry about it. But it's really nice with lip oil because it is just almost like two shades lighter than my lips. So I get that mm. like lip oil. Mm -hmm. But it still has the color of my lips, just too like it just uh, yeah. I really like the liner because it's oh yeah that one. And you brought the Nabla too. You put a lot of lip liners. Yeah, I like lip liners. It's one of my favorite makeup products actually. Yeah. I really like lip I liners. I do like lip liners too. Oh my god. Because you brought two plus one in your bag. Yeah. Like let me put these down. The Anastasia lip liners are really good. I also have I these. Do. I think they're really top. nice. I have the hazelnut one and then I've used more because it's lighter. Okay. So I really, really recommend the hazelnut one. It's really good. This is really pink. You're more into pink lips than I am. Yeah, Essence. this one's from Essence. Those are like three dollars. Oh, okay. and they're so nice. Maybe I need to look at these next yeah. time because they have a really, really big Essence display at my old dump. Oh, really? Yes, yeah, so I should look. Did you try the Essence eyeshadows? I have in my life. In my life. In my life, I have. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, but not recently. Yeah, I don't think. I don't no. want to try them because people keep saying that they want to see me try them. Yeah. <laughs> I actually like I reviewed this just recently and I'm like this is really good but I'm finding it hard to explain why it's so expensive because I have yeah. products like this in my collection that are equally nice and, yeah. and this is wonderful it's beautiful but so are some other products I have that yeah. are nice. Ugh, but like it, the packaging so is stunning packaging is so smooth and then these just released I hate this these just released in that rusting beach face no with, but they like, have the this bronzers. before as well and oh the, yeah there's some I yeah, a Galaxy collection. They had the so glassy lip glosses. But okay. Those were sheer wet with glitter. Okay. Stickiest lip glosses I've ever used in my life. Oh. I hate it. How I anyway. these ones I didn't mind, and I Maybe liked I'll this try. color. Maybe I'll have to try the ones. But I only tried it the one time. I just tried it in Friday's video, and that's it. So Maybe. I bought it because I wanted to try it, and then I just keep forgetting. I feel like ColourPop has a really short turnaround time. So if. Maybe they've changed a little bit. I don't know. Maybe oh, I need yeah. to try one of these. Because I just thought they were so sticky. Well, I think... I, no, I think you're right, though. Because I think I've tried So Glossy Lips before, and I didn't like them. But they came out with these. Because I don't like a lot of ColourPop lip products. Mm. They came out with these, and I was like, well, Except I'll just try ones. it for Friday's video. Oh, yeah, I do like those. And I actually really liked it. But I have to try, I've only tried it one time. I so have two of these myself. Those are so nice. The glowing so lips nice. from ColourPop. Like if you are looking for a really glossy, almost gloss on a stick and you don't want to pay high end prices. Yeah. I really recommend these yeah. uh, glowing lip from They're ColourPop. They're like $7. Those yeah. are really nice. You have it in cockatoo. 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 It's, it's like a mauve. Shocking. <laughs> and this is the color that she made at the Bite Lip Lab. It's called Bite. And Catch it's, not feeling. And it's what would you describe as? This one I would say is like a brown pinky nude. It's That's what I'm wearing today. It's very pretty. And we decided to do 
uh, this sheer formula. Mm -hmm. uh, this will be in our in our vlog. Yeah. I really like it. It's like yeah, the packaging is really nice. And like, the the name and everything yeah. is really cute. Yeah, it's cool. on two shots of What did you bring for Mac? Um, probably like honey love. love. Yeah, yeah. Honey love is just my. It's because it's light. I like to mm. use this with like a darker lip liner, and then I do mm. honey oh love. Oh my god! I know. Look at you! Oh my god! Honey love is nice. Um, I actually get rid of most of my Mac lipsticks because I think old. I think that's the only one I have left. I have maybe Age Sex Location. Uh, I have that one. It's called The Girl's Got Needs. Because it's a yellowy brown. Ooh, oh, love that. What did I bring? Catwalking, cover yeah. star, very Victoria. Catwalking. Catwalking. One of the brown. new like nudes that came out. But this is a little bit ago. unusual for being you because it's more like a caramelly brown. There's mm -hmm. like, no pink in it at all. That's no pretty. And okay. then we have a very Victoria. Which yeah. is a little bit more on the pinky side. Yeah. Like a mid-tone nude. Very Victoria is my favorite. Oh, that's the one you yeah, like the that's most? My, yeah, that's my, I that's my number one lipstick. I wore one yesterday from Shell Tilbury. Oh, that's not here. That's one. Oh. It's not here. Let me let me go get it. Okay. Hold. I just <laughs> discovered that maybe I did bring a she lot of lipsticks. She tried to tell me I brought all the lipsticks. I'm like, I just found three more in your bag. You found two over there. Well, I've already pulled out how many lip liners and lipsticks. Well then. So we you both like sound very judgy. <laughs> we like lip. We're supposed to be judging. We're, we're supposed to be judge me. Judge me. <laughs> judge me. Okay, so you from Charlotte, you brought I like that one. Stoned Rose. Mm -hmm. I haven't tried this one. It's oh. because it's orange. <laughs> <laughs> that could be why. That could potentially be a reason but it's why. Really, that's also a wearable really orange because it leans a little bit more on the peachy side. Okay. Gosh, I it's don't even know if I knew Charlotte has an orange. Oh, okay. It's the as orange as Charlotte will ever be. Yeah. Let's be honest. And then Love from Vive 90s. This Ooh. is such a good new color. That's pretty. I have hope. What do I? I have no. Oh, what do I? I have a lipstick from Vive. Mm. I can't remember the name because I have a I have the Velvet Sands mm. lip liner and the it's hot or something like that lipstick. I, I would say that one. this is like a beige mid tone beige yeah, that's on really me pretty shade. that leaning almost a little cool tone. Okay. Because it's definitely not warm. I I love it. And then this is the Pro Pro Beauty. Beauty. finesse. That's the lightest one that they have, which is a really glossy. Yeah, because they have really dark. Yeah, that's the lightest one. Because I have like, is it Victress mm -hmm. and another one. Another. Yeah. But that Victress is the, oh um, no, the, the Finesse one is the lightest one that they have. So okay. it's like the, a nude on my skin color. Okay. And you talk about, you really like the Lip Beauty Lip Oils. I need to try oils. these because I love nail Lip Oils. Smell oil. it. Oh, that's All good. right. I was gonna say, <laughs> it smells like the essential, we gotta put an essential oil yeah. in our mm -hmm. lip products that we made from Bite, and that's exactly what mm -hmm. it smells like. That's so funny. It's, it's, yeah, this is the clear one, but they have one that's peach and one that's watermelon. Yeah. So it's nice. really nice. Oh, what's this? Oh, it's the LH Cosmetics. Okay, all right. <laughs> that's famous. I love the LH Cosmetics. This is the Ooh. glossy lipstick from LH Cosmetics. Nice. And this is a somewhat transparent, but you can build it up a bit. And this is a beige. Reminds me of like the Sephora had a product that looked mm. similar to this. That was kind of like that. This one's more of like a sheer mm. product. And they actually nice. have one in pink opal that's like Ooh. a mauve. Ooh, I think you like it. <laughs> Celeste. Celeste. <laughs> but then also you brought two eye primers. Yeah, I mix them to make my to make my perfect. What you, you don't have to look. Yeah, no, you don't. You can stop looking. There's definitely no eye primer in there. But I do. Own I'm not one. saying I judge you. I'm, I'm just having questions. I do own one now because Urban Decay just sent me their primer portion oh, with that new like well. little mm -hmm. eyeshadow palette. Did you try that eyeshadow palette? Mm -hmm. oh. Me either. <laughs> I'm like I keep having it sitting out because I'm like I'll do a look, I'll do a look, and then I'm like. No. But like, <laughs> I could do a look, but if I did a look, it would be with something else. Yeah. Which one did they send you? Did we get the same one? But did you also get the questionnaire when you were like, choose your favorite shade? And it was like a beige, a beige, and a beige. And I was like, yeah, because well, I thought they were, I don't know, I thought it was going to be like a highlight or something. Yeah. I didn't think that was going to be based on like an eyeshadow palette. Yeah, because it was all beige. Yeah. I got the, the one that they call berry that has no berry. Okay, I think I got that same one then because the it's, the it's very like the one that's pink on the outside. Yep, yep, mm -hmm. yep, yep. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, I, I, I do get who it's for. I really, really do get who it's for. Um, but right, there's an audience. It's, it's hard. It's just hard to get excited. Yeah, 
And then what's this? I want to buy that tonight. Because okay. I'm having the lime green outfit. Oh, it's yeah, the, the half face. Uh, half face. No, it's not. Don't listen to me. Ooh. I have no idea what I'm doing. It's the half magic beauty. Just swatch it and see how amazing it swatches. Oh. Because it's opaque. That's oh, beautiful. Pink. And it's you can blend it with just a crease brush. Okay. And yeah, I was very impressed Ooh, with the liquid eyeshadows from Half Magic. So I'm gonna wear that today, I think. Okay. I'm really excited for our outfits. Oh. I think I said this in the live chat. Like I'm really <laughs> excited. Like it's gonna be fun. We're gonna have our own like what is it, the Gossip Girls Serena Blair mm -hmm. moment? Like that's what we're going for today. <laughs> Our New York moment. I'm so excited. Ooh. And then you got another brow product. Oh, that that is the Too Faced one. I like it, but I hate the applicator. Oh. What kind of brow products did you bring? I just brought two brow pencils. Or no, I brought three. I brought two brow pencils. I feel like you, I saw that NYX one. Yeah, this yeah. one. And the, then the NYX that gets sick. Yeah. yeah. Oh, and you have this one. Yeah, the, the, the Goof Proof. Benefit Goof Proof. I gave all of these to my mom because she wanted to have some brow pencils. Oh, nice. Pencils. I just like, I'm out of brow products. Could I have one? So I gave her like 12. I love when my mom's like, do you have a moisturizer? I'm like... Yeah, my, my mom brought me the yes. Luminoso. She used it for two years and she used it out. She's like, I'd like to try something else. So Aww. I gave her like some blush palettes and like all these things. Yeah. I love that. Oh, so funny. Yeah. Okay. Have we looked at all the things? Oh, there's a... And then, so IT Cosmetics, that's what I have in my brows today. I never tried IT Cosmetics I in my life. love that brow pencil. Oh, it's really? so good. It is so, it's like kind of like the goof proof. Oh, okay. It's just so fast and easy to use. Oh, that's nice. It's nice with fast products. Yeah. But I think you would like the, this one, the one that I have, the one from Give Beauty. Uh, this is not the Give Beauty. Well, I can pick that up when I get the, yeah. the products that because, come out. Because it's a spaceship. Oh. So you can draw in thin lines. Okay. But you can also just go broader. Okay. And it's like, I would try that. It's, it's colorful but it's not wax it's like not colorful that has like pigment to it but it's yeah. not waxy and okay. it's not like okay. i don't like full waxy. on like it so it's like so creamy that you're like is this a lip liner is okay. this a brow product and then there's a spoolie on the other side okay sweet i, I would probably like that up when i get the yeah, other side i just brought two eyeliners i brought the milk one you were just holding oh, as yeah, black this is an eyeliner mm -hmm. and then i brought a charlotte tilbury oh, like that. double ended one. <laughs> oh, the one you used today yeah i used that one today it's like the maroon one yeah oh the so double-sided one yeah i actually bought the walk of no shame eyeliner oh nice but only because i love the walk of no shame yeah lipstick i think her eyeliners are really nice i haven't tried it yet so, so yeah so i just used that one bought it two months ago haven't used it yeah and there's oh. like a shimmer side Okay, but that's a nice color, like yeah. the other one. And, and then I just brought a black, black for because I want to do the false lashes for tonight. So help blend it in. But the uh, milk, I don't know what's going on with these though because I can't find them because I've been like linked. Yeah, yeah. And they're so nice. They are one of the best eyeliners. Mm. They're so smooth. They don't move. And then all of a sudden I'm going to link it and they're gone. I'm like. <sighs> I feel like, yeah, sometimes brands are Why? like, nope, <laughs> Why? I don't think so, yeah. we're not doing that. And then we have the sponge. <laughs> the sponge of doom. Wowzers. This one was holding water more than you are. Oh god, yeah. It was moist. OP, oh, OPV. Is it OPV? Because I like their other sponges. Yeah. But this one it was just making all the noises. I was like, what you doing over there? <laughs> Because this one doesn't look that like the other sponges either because the other sponges are like more like an egg. Yeah. And it has like the ombre. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. I didn't love that one. Yeah, that was... Do love OPV though. That was interesting. It's a British based in the brand that has really good neon pigments oh. in the market for neons. Oh. I was actually looking at them the other day and I was like, should I pack this? I'm like, how high maintenance am I if I'm packing neons for New York? <laughs> <laughs> what kind of like, like makeup bracket is that? <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> That's a lot. That's Anyways, I hope you liked having a peek into our makeup bag yeah. i will link as many things as i can down below including samantha Ooh. i hope you're having an amazing day don't forget to also check out the live that we did on samantha's yes. channel yes. Uh, on saturday it's mm -hmm. already live on the channel mm -hmm. there should be also vlogs already live at least on my vlog channel i'm hoping to have one live mm -hmm. and if that is live i will also link that i hope you're having an amazing day and i will see you probably tomorrow for a new video bye, bye. <laughs>